I want to show you a few things about ordering accordion mini books from Meridian Pro. These are little pocket or purse size hardcover books. They come in two sizes, either three inches square or two and a half by three and a half. You can have standard covers or custom image covers. You get to put images on both sides of about six panels. Hidden magnets hold the book closed. We print them on our Indigo Press. They're very cool. People love them. So let me show you how to order one. I think you'll be surprised how fast it goes. You know that yellow icon that lives on your desktop or somewhere else where it's hiding on your computer? You got it after you signed up with Meridian. Find that and then just give it a double click. And when the Meridian Pro Rose app starts, if you don't see this sizes palette, this window right here with the sizes and prices showing in it, then here's how you get it back. Click on the sizes button and select show sizes palette. I'm working on a Mac, but I can start up Windows to show you what it looks like because I want you to understand this. If I expand the sizes palette, you can see where we're going to find uh, accordion mini books. And if I click on it, then you see there are two sizes of books. And in the next row down, we have the three steps to design our book. In Windows, when we make this sizes palette smaller, all those tabs sort of stack up on top of each other. And understanding what's going on there is kind of a key to finding different products, as well as being able to follow through on each step of ordering a product that has several parts to it, like these little books. On the Mac, expand the sizes palette, and again, you see the accordion mini books over here, right? But now, when we make the sizes palette smaller, all those tabs go away. They don't show. What we have to do is go to this arrow, click and hold, to get this flyout menu where now we can select accordion mini books. And then we can select the size of book we want. So for this, let's do a two and a half by three and a half. And now we're ready for the three steps to design the book. Step one, choose a cover. Now the first choice here is the custom image cover. This is what a book with a custom image cover looks like. What I want you to notice is how the print wraps around the hardbound cover. So we lose some of our image, don't we? It's important that you understand that. Look, let's drag a photo into the front cover of our book and then double click on it to zoom in and get a little better view. And you see this red line? Well, it doesn't print. It's just here to show you approximately where the photo is going to start wrapping around the edge of the cover. You can imagine why it's important to respect that red line, right? If there's something important in your image, like for example someone's face, and it falls outside the red line, <laughs> well that's not going to work. So you have to pick an image where everything important falls safely inside that red line. Which brings up something else. There are normal manufacturing tolerances in the processes of printing, trimming, wrapping the cover, and assembling these books. The lab will always strive for absolute precision at every step of the process. And let me tell you, quality control is very good at Meridian, but nothing is perfect. So here's what I'm getting to. Normally, it doesn't matter if something is off by a tiny fraction normally, meaning if you have a regular image in here, you won't notice it. But if you build something in Photoshop and you add a border or a box or type or a graphic and if you design it too close to that red line, well then all bets are off. Because of normal manufacturing tolerances, there's a chance it will not fit exactly the way you want it to. So on these smaller products, we strongly suggest you stay away from designing boxes or borders or lines that are designed too close to the edge. You've probably noticed we can put a title on the front of our book. You don't have to, but if you want to, you just click on the text box, then enter the text you want. Keep adding characters and the type gets smaller, which also means you can add spaces on each side if you want the type to be smaller. To change the font and set its color, you open the Options palette and you'll see how to pick a different font and you'll need to have these fonts installed on your computer. I know, right? There's not a lot of control here for designing anything complicated. 
it is what it is. If you're not happy with it, what you can do is design your cover in Photoshop or another design app and save it as a JPEG, then pull that final image back into rows. Okay, now we need to do the back cover. Get an image and drag it in, same as we did on the front cover. And then when you're satisfied with the design of both covers, front and back, then we would click Add to Order. Don't forget to click Add to Order before you go to step two. Just because we did this work and designed the cover, that doesn't mean that it's in the order until we click that button. But I'm not going to click that button because I want to show you the standard covers. You don't get an image on the front and back of your book, but I think the standard covers look very classy. They're fast and easy to order, and here's the thing, they're less expensive. You click on one of these, it shows up over here in the main layout window, and then click Add to Order, and that's it. Takes care of both front and back covers. Now we can go to step two. Look at the different layouts, select one, and then you can just start dragging images into the different boxes. It's pretty easy, right? You double click to zoom in and view just one of the image boxes. Double click again to zoom out. If we don't like the layout we started with, we can try another one. You can keep trying different images if you want. Just drag a new image right over the top to replace the old one. Everything I'm doing here is pretty basic. Like rotate an image with this slider. Use this zoom slider to crop the image tighter. Step 2, the front of the accordion pages is done. Click Add to Order. And then we go to step 3, which is choose the back layout. And we build the back of the accordion the same way we did the front. I'm going to use a trick to make this demo move along a little faster. With this layout, I've got six image boxes and I'll pick six photos. You know how to select more than one image? You hold the Command key on the Mac, Control key on Windows, and click on each image that you want. Then I can drag them all over at once. And of course if we want, we could adjust any of them or replace one with another image, but this looks pretty good. So I'm going to click Add to Order. And that's it. We're done. We've got an accordion mini book ready to be sent to the lab. So we click here on the review order window. See, there's the cover and you can see the price of the book. Then here is the front of the accordion and here's the back, just as we ordered it. We could add other prints and products to this order if we wanted to. And when we're ready, we click complete order. We go through several more screens and our order is sending to the lab. It's just that easy. You can build these little books in five or ten minutes and people love them. So find that yellow Meridian Pro icon and give it a double click. Let's get your accordion mini book ordered. Today, right now, what are you waiting for?